Hi YouTube, me again. Um, doing another video on sexuality, which I think a lot of people should really do videos on this because I think it's very important that people should really learn about it and actually be okay with it since it's new now. Um, sexuality. I'm gay. I've been gay my whole life. Um, of course, I had girlfriends in the past where I thought I was straight or bisexual, and it's still, I still like men way more than girls. I like girls as friends, you know, friends. I had a lot of girlfriends, you know, girlfriends, not relationship-wise, but, like, friendship-wise. Um, you know, and a lot of men don't really approve of me being gay sometimes, but I don't care. You know, if, like I say this, if they're really truly your friends, they would accept you no matter what. Not because... They feel like they have to, but if they really are truly your friends, they'll accept you. Um, coming out. Coming out was kind of hard because I was in high school. Well, even in grade school, I would be bullied for being gay. You know, automatically they were calling me gay and stuff, and, you know, they wanted to jump me and stuff, and I think that was really stressful. Um, in high school, my brother was more like the wild type. He, he came out more than I did. Uh, a lot of people actually assumed that I was straight. Because how he dressed. Um, CJ, well, I'm not going to give out names. But my brother, his name is not CJ. But his brother, my brother, he dressed more like a girl. More like type. I dressed more like a man type. Like I wore like trip shorts. Um, I wear skinny jeans a little bit. I don't wear girl clothes. Because I can't fit into them for one. Um, I have a girl's haircut. A skinhead girl's haircut. Where it's like bald right here. All right here, but there's hair right here. It's supposed to be a feather cut where the back's supposed to be a feather, but I don't do that. I don't do the cypress either. But, you know, I have a girly stuff. I have a have a purse that sometimes I walk around with. Depends. Or I might just keep it as a makeup bag. I have lip glosses, which I order some too. You know, and I don't care. Like, I don't really... I Like I said, I don't live for people. I just live for my life. You know, I live the way I want to live. I actually have a boyfriend who accepts me for me. He's a little older, but I don't care. Um, well, not a little bit. He's older, but I don't care. Um, coming out is very hard to people because a lot of people won't accept it. And I understand that. And I know a lot of people are worried about family members and friendships. But I would say family is more important than friends, especially when you're coming out. Because friends, you know, they come and go. And friends, that's if they even accept you. You know, friends, and I know that's some shitty. I'm sorry. But friends, you know, I mean, if they're truly, really your friends, and they really stick by you a lot, then they should accept you. If they don't accept you, then they're not really your friends. They're just there for something or whatever, because I've been through that same boat. Um, I have friends that accepted me, of course. A lot of friends don't even care of me, of being gay, because it's not their life. It's my life. Um, I don't mind, you know, people coming out to me, but if I say something that's offensive, I'm sorry, but... I, you know, I, I like to help people come out, you know, I think being, I think coming out is way more important than keeping it in, because when you're coming out, it's a lot of weight left off your shoulders, because I remember when I was keeping it in the closet, I actually have a hard time, I actually had a hard time accepting that I was gay, it's not because of the bullying, it's not because of, I mean, my family accepts me for me, uh, my friends accept me, my boyfriend, of course, because I'm, I have a boyfriend, but, um, I had a hard time accepting and knowing that I was gay because I always wanted to be straight because I always had this life, you know, pictured out with a woman and kids, which I don't want kids at all. Um, but with a woman, you know, wife, you know, that that's how I was growing up, you know. You know, I was always having this picture with a wife and stuff, but it didn't turn out that way. It was more like a man than a girl because with girls, I can kiss them. I can, you know, hold hands with them. I can date them, but I can never, ever have sex with them. And I think that's the big important thing is that people need to notice about their sexuality is that if you can't have sex with a woman and you're a guy, and you're a guy, and you can't have sex with a woman and you cannot picture yourself having sex with a woman or you watch porn, I know this is a little embarrassing, I'm sorry, but if you watch porn and you don't watch straight porn, like you don't like the women and you just like the men, then you're gay, you know? And I know a lot of people like to refuse that, like, oh, I'm not gay, but you're gay. And I get that, but I think it's easier to come out, you know, and if people don't want to be friends with you, if people don't want to accept you, then screw them, you know, because you're the ones living that life and not them. And actually right now, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty acceptable that people are coming out as gay. 
although gay marriage is totally acceptable, which I was really shocked about that. I don't like marriage, personally. I think marriage is too trapment for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Maybe in the future I'll change, I don't know. But if you guys want to get married, I don't care. That's your life. I don't, I approve it. I don't care. Um, LGBT. I like LGBT, but I'm not in group. I don't like being in groups really much of LGBT, and it's not because of LGBT itself. It's, I don't like being groups, period. Like, I just like to be me. Um, I personally don't mind if anyone's gay in my friends list. I mean, who am I to judge? I'm gay myself, and, you know, for a gay person to judge another gay person is just stupid. Um, relationships with straight people. Um, I had to points where straight people actually asked me to send me a picture of, of my dick to them, but they're supposed to be straight, and they're asking me to do that, and I truly think that if you're straight, uh, you shouldn't be asking a gay person to do that. Um, that means you're undercover, and I have arguments with people like that. Oh, well, I'm not gay, but you're asking a gay person to show them your penis, uh, show them their penis. Like, it's stupid, and, you know, whatever. Racial with black people. Um, I'm not racist to anyone. I'm not. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're Mexican. I don't care if you're Chinese. I don't care if you're purple. Uh, treat me with respect and I treat you with respect. That's why I'm an anti-racist skinhead. It's because I believe in anti-racism and I like anti-racism. But anyway, um, they always throw that race card. It's like, you know, if I don't want to have sex with them or I don't want to be with them, it's like automatically you're racist. Oh, you're racist against me, you're racist against black people because you don't want to have sex. But it's stupid because that's what gives black people that name. Um, but that's with any race, though. That's with me. You know, black people, white people, they do that to me all the time. Um, but coming out is very important to me and important to help, you know, make this world a better place. And what this world needs is more love and acceptance. Uh, being gay and stuff, and a lot of people is like, well, you know, I, I just think people are homophobic. I don't think people are actually homophobic sometimes. I just think they're afraid. It's like, oh, because you're gay, you think you're going to come on to them, which is not true. Um, which is stupid, but that's how the world is. You know, they see that differently. So, that's my video for uh, sexuality. You know, whatever. Hope you guys like it. I don't judge people, so don't judge me on this video. Uh, if you guys want to come out to me, just comment below. We can talk. Um, but if any rude comments, I'll be deleted. You'll be, you know, your comments will be deleted or blocked or recorded. Because I'm not here to deal with homophobic people. I'm here to deal. I'm trying to help people come out and maybe they get to. My coming out story, it was rough. You know, I mean, I was scared to come out with especially my friends because a lot of the guy friends like always talk about oh you know fake this fake that people are fake it's people are this but when I came out sometimes they accepted me some of them didn't a lot of friends I have with girls and they of course they accepted me because girls are more easier sometimes to come out to than guys because guys are automatically just one of those people like oh you know they jump to it but girls, when I came out to girls, like, they're all happy, like, oh my god, you're gay, oh my god, that's so nice, that's so cool, you know, we have a boy, you know, a guy, that's gay. But, it was pretty cool. So, like, comment, subscribe, uh, this is my coming out story, I mean, I mean, my sexuality video. Hope you guys like it, I hope you guys come out, because it's very important to come out, and it's very late lifted off your shoulders. And, um, I accept you, I don't care if you're black, Chinese, Mexican, I don't care who you are. If you're gay and you're coming out to me, that's really awesome. Um, because I like to help people that to come out and I like to help people. Period. So like and subscribe. Thanks.